I don't know if you all can see in the video, but these grains, they're way up here, outside the fence, not even close. Now this particular field, we did the drill and drive away method. I'll flip this around. You can see that by doing that, we didn't terminate any of this clover. Now these are annual clovers, um, but you can see buckwheat right here, a uh, bunch of buckwheat right there, some soybeans. Um, there's a little bit of weed competition, but nothing terrible. I found a bunch of sun hemp. So the reason I wanna highlight that is this might be a good effort for those of you who are trying to reduce herbicide. We didn't even use a roller crimper in here. We simply came in, drilled through this and drove away. It was a little bit wet the day that we planted. And there was also, um, it was such a clean field. So here, look, this is sunflower, buckwheat, um, spring barley, more buckwheat, more buckwheat. Got some peas. I mean, you can see there's they're browsing it like crazy. So I'm going to move the exclusion fence so that I can really measure browse pressure because I can tell it's pretty heavy on this field. I mean, again, if you look at the exclusion fence behind me compared to outside the field, they've definitely set it back quite a bit. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. I would definitely will continue to do this on different fields. And then uh, this fall, because I do see some grass competition now coming into some areas, um, we can terminate this with an herbicide, but then we've only used herbicide then once every 12 to 13 months on this particular field. So um, again, I'll show you guys one more quick area for those of you who are still with me. And I mean, look at the clover that we've been able to maintain. And I do see some beans and chicory. What else do I see? I mean, there's some hairy vetch. I see a lot of good things growing in through here. And all we did is drill it and drove away. So don't think you could do it with broadcast necessarily. You might have to do a, um, a crimp or a drag or even a bush hog. Um, but if you do have a drill, I have the Tar River. It's nothing overly fancy. Um, this might be a good method for you, especially for those spring-summer plots if you're just looking to feed some deer and feed some soils.